Welcome back to Concepts of Biology. We'll continue to read Chapter 5, Chapter Summary. Section 5.1 Overview of Photosynthesis The process of photosynthesis transformed life on Earth. By harnessing energy from the sun, photosynthesis allowed living things to access enormous amounts of energy. Because of photosynthesis, living things gained access to sufficient energy, allowing them to evolve new structures and achieve the biodiversity that is evident today. Only certain organisms, called autotrophs, can perform photosynthesis. They require the presence of chlorophyll, a specialized pigment that can absorb light and convert light energy into chemical energy. Photosynthesis uses carbon dioxide and water to assemble carbohydrate molecules, usually glucose, and releases oxygen into the air. Eukaryotic autotrophs, such as plants and algae, have organelles called chloroplasts in which photosynthesis takes place. Section 5.2 The Light-Dependent Reactions of Photosynthesis in the first part of photosynthesis, the light-dependent reaction, pigment molecules, absorb energy from sunlight. The most common and abundant pigment is chlorophyll A. A photon strikes photosystem II to initiate photosynthesis. Energy travels through the electron transport chain, which pumps hydrogen ions into the thylakoid space. This forms an electrochemical gradient. The ions flow through ATP synthase from the thylakoid space into the stroma in a process called chemiosmosis to form molecules of ATP, which are used for the formation of sugar molecules in the second stage of photosynthesis. Photosystem I absorbs a second photon, which results in the formation of an NADPH molecule, another energy carrier for the Calvin cycle reactions. Hi, if you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the link. We want these free textbook resources to be available to other students. All right, let's get back to reading. Section 5.3, The Calvin Cycle. Using the energy carriers formed in the first stage of photosynthesis, the Calvin Cycle reactions fix carbon dioxide from the environment to build carbohydrate molecules. An enzyme, Rubisco, catalyzes the fixation reaction by combining carbon dioxide with ribulose biphosphate. The resulting 6-carbon compound is broken down into two 3-carbon compounds, and the energy in ATP and NADPH is used to convert these molecules into G3P. One of the three carbon molecules of G3P leaves the cycle to become a part of a carbohydrate molecule. The remaining G3P molecules stay in the cycle to be formed back into ribulose biphosphate, which is ready to react with more carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis forms a balanced energy cycle with the process of cellular respiration. Plants are capable of both photosynthesis and cellular respiration since they contain both chloroplasts and mitochondria. This is the end of Chapter 5. In our next section, we will read Chapter 6, Reproduction at the Cellular Level.